Welcome back to the Ingram Angle. Imagine walking into your state's capital during the week of Christmas and seeing this monstrosity. It's a so-called art display in Illinois depicting the satanic figure Baphomet as a baby. It sits right next to the nativity. It's so obvious what the satanic temple, the group who put this thing on, is doing. They are mocking religious expression and the nativity. Joining me now is Reverend Franklin Graham. He's president and CEO of Samaritan's Purse. Reverend Graham, Merry Christmas. Your reaction to this blasphemous image at the Illinois Capitol? Well, first of all, the devil has been trying to destroy Christmas for 2,000 years. When uh, uh, King Herod uh, sent his troops to Bethlehem to hunt for the baby Jesus to kill him. And so the devil has been trying to destroy Christmas ever since. And this is just another very sad attempt. But you know, Christmas is about God's love. It's not about the satanic temple. It's about God mm. so loving this world that he sent his son Jesus Christ to this earth to take our sins. Jesus died for our sins. He was buried. He rose again. He's alive. And if we're willing to repent, turn from those sins and put our faith and trust in him, God will forgive our sins and he'll heal our hearts and he'll invite us to be with him for eternity. But this is what Christmas is all about. It's about God loving this earth and loving yeah. you and loving me. Reverend Graham, I need to ask you about this new poll that just came out. The percentage of Americans who identify as Christian has dropped 15 percent over the last 14 years. It's now about three in 10 adults who consider themselves religious nons, which are atheists or agnostics or, or just nothing. Why is this happening and what can the church do about it? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the church has got a lot of work to do and we need to be doing evangelism. Uh, we need to be sharing with people how they can have a relationship with God uh, through faith in Christ. I'm not talking about religion. There's a lot of religion in the world. And I'm, I'm talking about how you can have a relationship with God. Mm. And that's through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. So I think we got a lot of work. I, I'm certainly not going to be out of uh, be out of a job, I don't think, because uh, there's a lot of work to do. And I hope that mm. pastors and churches across this country will be willing to preach and tell others how they can have that relationship with Jesus Christ. Despite those trying to divide the country, uh, Reverend, uh, Samaritan's Purse, your group, is bringing people together for Operation Christmas Child. Now, I know our producer, every year she and her son stuffs their uh, shoebox. Mm -hmm. Presents are donated and delivered to children all over the world who may otherwise get nothing. Mm -hmm. How many gifts are you set to distribute this Christmas? Uh, this year we've taken in just a little over 10 million. I think it's about 10.2 million. Uh, shoe boxes, mm. and this will be delivered to children in 110 different countries. And so mm. it's, a, it's an incredible program. And these are children who have nothing. Uh, children, when you give them a gift, for many, it's the only gift they've ever received in their life, and the joy and, and the hope that it gives them. And, the, you know, the fact that they know that somebody out there loves them, somebody out there hadn't forgotten them. And I want the children of the world to know the true meaning of Christmas, about God's yeah. love. Yeah, like the wise men, we continue giving on Christ's birthday to the rest of the world, to those near us. Uh, Samaritan's Purse is also putting a lot of effort, I know, into helping those devastated by the tornadoes in Kentucky <laughs> and Arkansas. Franklin, you, you have hundreds of volunteers on the ground right now. What are you doing to help? What can viewers do to help? And how are you spending your Christmas Eve? Well, I'm going to be, uh, for, let me answer the question of how, what a person can do. Then go to our website, SamaritansPurse.org, and find out how they can volunteer or how they can be a part of helping this relief effort. But I'm going to be there Christmas Eve. We're going to uh, serve a Christmas lunch uh, to about 5,000 people. Ricky Skaggs is going to be with me. And we're going to serve from 11 uh, to about 3 in the afternoon. And it's for everybody in the uh, Mayfield area. Uh, they can come by and have a free lunch, and uh, Ricky will play, and I'm going to say a few words to him. And so uh, then we, we work on Christmas. We'll, we'll have teams of people working through Christmas. Uh, we don't take Christmas off. The people up there need our help now, and I think it's important that we stay there through Christmas helping them. Well, God bless you, Reverend Graham, and your efforts. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and to all those at Samaritan's Purse, and thank you for your great work.